Hi, I'm Britta. Hi, I'm Maddie. And today we're going to be talking to you guys about how 3D printing has changed dentistry. So what is 3D printing? Well, in regard to dentistry, 3D printing is the fabrication of many devices that previously would have taken three steps to make, and those steps are alginate, stone, and then being sent to the lab. 3D printing creates a model um, same day in office. Let's see how it works. So this is just a short video showing you guys in a few simple steps how 3D printing works. So this is this video starts after this initial scan has already been taken with the intraoral scanner and that is them in the lab designing what they want to be printed. Here is just showing the 3D printer printing um, the study model and the appliance. Now the printer is done printing and the lab tech will take it out and trim it. Okay, and then what you guys see here is the study model that the printer made. And then that is the application being placed into the study model. So what can be 3D printed? Basically anything you can think of that is an intraoral um, device or not device application can be printed like dentures, crowns, partials, night guards, retainers, trays, all that type of stuff. So like Bruno was talking about during the video, um, there's four steps in the process of printing. Um, first, you collect a digital impression with an intraoral scanner from your patient um, and then send it to a lab or the design station, which you can have in your office if you would want. Um, and then when the impression is done, you import the digital scan into CAD, which is the software um, that you would design your um, application and like your dentures and things like that. Um, and then it would be printed. Um, you would just import the design into your printer and prepare the software for printer setup. And then it would print it, and then it would wash, dry, and post cure. How can this change dentistry? Um, this is great for our patients. Um, you're able to make patients more comfortable, more quickly, and it's cheaper for them. They can also get it same day to start treatment sooner. Um, you can reproduce it easily or duplicate it if applications lost, cracked, anything like that. Um, we all know our patients lose something at some point. Um, you can easily redo this over and over again without sending it back to the lab. It kind of cuts out that middle of man, so if something's wrong with it, you can just take it back and fix it right away, and it's super easy to use. Um, there are always some downsides with new things. Um, this would take the place of lab techs in some areas. Um, the high initial cost is something to always think about. Um, old school dentists may be hesitant to go through um, with this new training and learning new ways to take care of our patients. 
Um, it can be super costly to repair um, if things break with it or if it being newer. The intraoral scanner is bulky and it can present issues for patients with smaller dentations. And in order to use the system, everyone in your office needs to be trained on it if they would want to um, be using that um, with every patient that came in. So breaking down the cost, um, on the previous slide I talked about there being a high initial cost, and this slide just kind of breaks it down a little bit. The average cost of a printer that includes a pedestal printer and a normal warranty is about $12,000. Um, in our research, most offices have two or three of them so that you can be printing for multiple patients at one time instead of just doing it one at a time. Um, this $12,000 is without the mixing station, resin, or the trays that are needed um, to print your fabrication. Um, this is a high initial cost. Some of those things cost thousands of dollars, some are just a couple of hundred. Okay, so just breaking down the cost a little bit more here. So for the bottles of material that you would need, um, they range from $195 to $450, and that depends on the type of material you need and the color that you would select. Um, how much you can get out of each bottle kind of depends on how much you're printing, what you're printing, and if you're needing to do those remakes, like Maddie said, it's very easy. If stuff isn't fitting to go back and remake it, well, if you're doing that a lot, then you're going to be using more materials so you're going to need more bottles quicker. Do you think it's worth it? This is the question we're going to leave you guys with today. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a good day.